Hey guys, welcome to my very first video on my brand new channel. My name is Rosini16 and I'm here to bring you a brand new series I'd like to call Gunning for Glory. This series, as far as I know, is brand new and not copied from anyone. Although it is very similar to such series as the well-known Road to Glory or Race to Division 1. It follows the same guidelines. I'll be racing to get to Division 1 and win it. I will be recording two games of video and trying to buy a player each episode also. Only twist is, I'll only be able to use players from the team Arsenal, hence the name of the series. Whether it be silvers, golds, rares, informs, etc. It doesn't matter, I can use whatever quality I'd like, it just has to be from the team Arsenal. I will be only doing post-match commentary rather than live feeds for now, but if you'd like something different or you'd like that to change, just let me know by all means, I'm sure I can figure something out for you guys. Now to begin with, whilst you can see me setting up in the background, I'm just going to talk about the side that we have. We have a pretty standard starting side, no different to what you guys would get if you did it. The only real good thing about it is the amount of French players I got. Now they're all French and they're all from the League 2, which means I get a good amount of chemistry straight away. And that's something I really like because I'm very OCD and I think chemistry has a huge role to play in FIFA 16 when it comes to set plays and passing the ball and through balls and the awareness of running behind the defense i think without chemistry your team's pretty much hopeless in this series other than that it makes it much really easy for myself as well with players like debushi koscielny flamini coquelin it means i can get some good easy chemistry and get myself to 100 fairly quick off the bat which will help to hopefully win us a few extra games in the series to get us the coins to obviously by the other half of the team so i'm just going to finish that up and then i'll jump straight into a game Alright guys, we're just going to jump right in. I'm keen to get started. Now the first team we come up against is a 75 chemistry bronze starter team with a few extra gold rare players in there. My only real worry for this game was Ramos up front. I feel he's a very strong striker in this game and I thought this guy would knew what he was doing with him and would cause a lot of damage, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. This guy obviously was very new to the game and did not have a lot of skill behind him. I dominated... Play. I don't think he had the ball longer than 10 seconds at a time. Only problem was I just could not get my shots in from anywhere. Every shot I either hit the crossbar or the keeper saved it or I did silly long shots from outside the box just hoping it went in and of course it's not going to go on with this quality of player so maybe adding a striker into the team would be the best way to go first but it flicks to a corner that I'm taking now. Corners are something I really struggle with in FIFA 16. I've played probably 200 games worth so far, and I just can't figure out a good technique of what to do with the corner. I've tried what all the YouTubers are doing, where they just kick it out of the box and just bang it in and hope for the best, or they bring someone in close and lob it in, but I just can't seem to find a good technique that works very well for myself. So you'll see a lot of corners in this game and the next game where I just don't do a whole lot with it, but I think that might change when we get the likes of maybe Olivier Giroud or Koscielny in the side with people who can actually head up. Now, the game was very slow paced. It wasn't very good. You could tell we were playing with very new te teams, but it wasn't very long before I broke through his defense with a bit of slow paced dribbling. I tramped it across and banged it in. Nothing special, but I feel like until I get the better players up front who can actually finish a shot, Tramping might be something I'll have to resort to for a couple of matches until I earn the coin to get someone else. Straight from kickoff, I turn it over from him straight away. Just a couple of ball rolls and simple sprint dribbles. 
and I got around him simple enough. He was very easy to manip manipulate, especially in defense. I could make him pretty much pull his defenders across, which made it easy for myself to fake shot, pull back, and put it in the back of the net. Once that first goal went in, it just started pouring out. I got that second one. The third one doesn't come too long after, and that pretty much sums up the game because after that, he obviously had enough and decided he was going to leave. The furthest he got in, def in his attack was just as far as you just saw. He just could not do anything with it. Simple run, I pull back, finesse shot on the far side, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. Now that was the end of the first game, you're about to just come across the stats after it goes through the match coins and player rating. You'll see by the stats, he's zero shots and low possession. It was inevitable that he was going to lose and I would have been quite shocked if he somehow managed to come back into that game. But it was an easy game, good start, easy money, helps get it towards a player we can buy at the end of the episode. So I'll just go back to the menu, make sure everything's good and we'll jump into the next game. So I'm not going to make any changes to the side, I'm going to jump straight back into the second game and let's hope we get as good a result as in the first one. Now we're going to come up against another standard team, he's got his lone legend in as well as the addition of Clint Dempsey and his Nathan Dyer in the right mid. I was worried as he has 100 chemistry and a couple of decent players, I thought the pace of Nathan Dyer and the shot of Clint Dempsey were going to absolutely destroy me. Now from the free kick I turn it over straight away but I managed to get it back pretty much almost instantly from there I just simply run it in a couple of ball rolls his defense is all over the place sliding around banging in the top corner he's never going to be able to stop that from then on that pretty much set the pace for the game he had a couple of runs on goal where he was very threatening as you'll see coming up very shortly but it was nothing too stressful I have another chance here which I just get saved by the keeper knocks it out for a corner as I said in the last game, corners aren't my strong suit, so obviously I don't do a whole lot with this corner except for just kick it in aimlessly and gets cleared out. Get it back, try and turn it over, try a shot. Unfortunately, it doesn't work again. So he gets a break on my goal here, which was the only threatening bit of the game where he had, and I reckon if he may have got this, it would have changed the game, but unfortunately he didn't. He runs on through goal, simple one-two passing through the defense. I dived into stupid tackles. He decided to take a shot from range rather than take a couple extra steps and run in, which probably was his downfall there. But he managed to win a penalty out of it, which he managed to lob in, get to the player. My player ran into him, knocked him over, gave away a penalty. It's so soft in this game. It's so easy to give away penalties. You don't even mean to. You don't even click the button sometimes and you give them away. It's a bit hoarse, I think it needs to be updated very quickly because it's just ridiculous how many penalties are given away. Now I stayed down the middle because I literally had no idea where it was going to go. I thought if I jumped side to side he'd think I was going to dive to a side. I don't know, but he managed to kick it down the middle which is exactly where I was aiming. And from then on it was just downhill from him. He, he didn't have another run for the game that was dangerous at all. And I had all of the play, all the shots. This one here, fake the defender, run in, bang it top corner pretty much how the game went. He was very easy to skill around, even with dummy shots and ball rolls. It was just so simple to get around him, and it was good because that's the only skills I could do as I don't have any high skillers in this team at the moment. But ball rolls and fake shots seem to be very effective in this game i found so far. And Why use the big tricky ones if you can use the simple ones and still get around them? Now it goes to half time. You can see by the stats that I was dominating him. Probably should have had more than two goals, but Oh well, at least we're still winning. Now we're going to jump back into the second half. Now it did get very, very, very laggy from here and I hate playing in the lag. I did get very frustrated, but it didn't help him at all and it didn't benefit him whatsoever. He still had no attacks, no, nothing threatening at all and I still dominated play for at least 80% of the time. It was ridiculous. He just could not do anything. Now in the second half I do manage to pick up I think a couple more goals. Now 
from here is to give away a stupid free kick where I just slid in. I don't know what I was thinking. That was never going to end well. I was lucky to get away with only a yellow card, but I was really worried with this free kick is a lot of people can take free kicks very well in this game. So I chucked the man on the line just in case he managed to get it over the wall and go for the top corner, but he flopped it. He kicked it 10 miles over the bar, and I believe that was his last shot of the game from memory. And from there, he was just mucking around in the defense, not doing simple passes to get it out in a hurry. And it backfired on him. I tackled him there, and it was just simple plays. Run in, ball roll him. He dives in for a stupid tackle, finesse far side. He's never going to be able to stop that. And then he just pretty much gave up. He wasn't trying. He was mucking around the goalkeeper. He was mucking around in defense. He just gave up. He knew it was over. Obviously, he didn't rage quit, so he just stuck in and just piss farted around just to waste time. Now he kicks it out from the goalkeeper. I cover the man, turn it over, run on, pass it, run on again and score. It's just simple stuff, and he can't stop it whatsoever. And that brings us to the end of the second game, I believe. It's just going to run through the last highlight of the whistle being blown. Now, this was a very good start to the season. It was some good easy coins and and coins that we need to get this team upgraded as soon as possible because the first thing I want to do is maybe tighten up the midfield a little bit, maybe get a nice cheap player like Flamini or something, and then I instantly want to get onto a striker that at least has three star skills and a bit of pace behind him and strength maybe in the likes of Danny Welbeck or something that can just give us that little extra boost to get a couple extra goals to ensure we get wins in the next few games now you're going to come up and see the stats in a second and you'll see again I dominated him it was a deserved win I was lucky to get away both games without actually conceding a goal which was exceptional I thought and hopefully we can continue that for the rest of the division we're going to jump back to the home screen now guys and I'm going to look into investing in a player of some sort I'm not too sure I'm, I think I decided to go with Flamini in the end and I picked him up pretty cheap didn't spend too much coins if I have a couple of extra coins in the next few episodes and maybe I'll invest in the uh, Arsenal badge and the kits maybe as I'm only going to buy one player a game anyway so I'll have a little bit of extra money while I'm buying the cheaper players but I managed to pick him up for very cheap, around six, seven hundred, I believe, and chucked him straight in the team. He fit in, gave us some chemistry, and he's a good new addition to the team, and it looks like it'll be all set to go in the next episode. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.